All right. So I was right about the way down deep in here, the main jets look like this and they were pretty nasty. There was a lot of shit down here on this end. I had to put a screw just barely enough to grip it and then I put some pliers on it and hit the pliers and it vibrated it right out. And then you take some wire and you rip one of them out of there and you got to go through and poke out every one of these little holes. And then let's see what else, some steel wool to clean everything up, like any of the dust and debris that you see. Try not to bend these guys either. Um, the angle of this determines when the fuel cuts on and off, so don't mess with that. And then there's a couple of seals way down inside here that go between these main jets and the body. And they are a bitch to get out. So you just kind of got to find a long enough pointer and scraper to get down in there and poke that until it falls apart. And then once it's out, you can rebuild it. This is all the scrapers and pokers I used to get that guy out of there. So we're done with all this. Okay, so now let's put her back together. We'll start at the bottom, and now we're here. All right. And then our two little rods. Short side down, there's a long side and a short side. I'm gonna put the short side in. And that's pretty much it for that guy. So we're gonna take this guy and line up these rods with these holes. So I guess if I lean it forward a little, it kinda helps. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one that had the long screws and the short screws, so we got to find those guys. Alright, long boys on the front, and the shorties on the back. go up in there they probably go in those main jets so I'm gonna finish assembly on this upper first so let's just start over So we got our metering rods in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back together. So I'm gonna put a gasket on here. And then to keep it from falling off, I'm gonna slide it in, hopefully. That goes. And it does. 
Werbung. Sounds good. Take the other one, shake it off, put the gasket on it, line it up. And tap her home. Here's a sound change. That's how you know you got it all the way. All right. I think I want to twist that guy counterclockwise a little so I can see the jet and the opening. go. And now I can hopefully get it to go in straight. That went in nice. Let's see where that lines up better. So you can kind of see in these holes here that flat spot on the jet needs to line up so it's shooting into that hole. And we got these Copper washers that go up here. Okay. And these caps. screws on comes with new spring new screw and then I think the manual says one and a half turns out but I'll just temporarily screw them in for now there we go. oh blew a tire No new fuel inlet, so we will reuse that. Or is that a vacuum? Yeah, that's a vacuum port. And tighten it down. Not a half inch. Seven sixteenths. Don't overdo it, obviously. <laughs> Two oogadoogas. So now, am I just forgetting something, or? Let's see.
gone forever. My copper washer. Oh, that sucks. Not really seeing where this guy's got a screw into anymore. that way then.
Okay, so fun fact to get these main jets all the way down in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but those need to be pointing up and the hole pointing that way. So you got to turn them until they line up and then tap them in gently and they'll look just like that right here. A little point we're looking at there. Then you can flip it back over and put these stupid guys back in that are the weird size. It's like flat on that side and flat on that side. I had to grind down a 7 16th, no, 7 seconds bit until it would fit. And now I can put that in over the top of the main jets. Hopefully, tighten them down enough with this homemade bit. those are tight enough now we'll take our little copper o-ring and our end cap Now I gotta find the one I dropped. Alright. Another copper gasket. Our other plug. Okay, let's try switching them. Huh. 
Boogered that up pretty good. Damn it. I just fucking found that. God damn. All right, crisis averted. Got these guys in and sealed up. Everything looks to be lined up. Fuck. All right. So now, I wanna finish putting this guy together. So we had the big ball actually goes down in this hole here with a little Kind of retainer spring shaped like a E <clears throat> and I believe it points upward but I'm not a hundred percent so I'm gonna put the ball down in there I don't know was it next to it
lot of grimy filth down there too, so I'm gonna try and poke that out. Pliers a little flatter. I think it goes there. Assuming that's going this hole. I took a picture. So that's where that guy goes.
Hmm. All right. So now the little ball goes in that hole. And this gasket goes over the top of it. Gasket for that guy, unfortunately. primary jets back in. These will probably be the idle jets. Same thing, we've got to run a wire through them. Not only to get the varnish out of any old dried gas, but if any like a piece of sand got in there, it's going to get stopped in one of these tiny holes. And better to uh, find it now than have to deal with it later. Put it on top of this guy. Remember these these rods go in small end first and point towards the venturis. And then you take this guy with these two holes and line up the rods into the holes. Just wiggles right on down. Then we got our long screws for the front. Bolts, whatever. Short ones for the rear. And just kind of get them close to snug. And then we're going to wiggle the upper and lower until everything's centered nice and even. Before I tighten everything down.
got the upper, I should say the lower and the middle. Now we gotta get the upper ready. So I'm gonna get all this trash out of here. Oh, oh. Set that right there for now. We need to get our float, our new needle valve, and seat. So basically what they've done in this kit is this old seat is where the needle valve moves up and down. And not only can the needle valve go bad, but the seat can get so corroded your needle valve will stick. And you'll think it's the needle valve or the float and you'll constantly be chasing it. So they give you a new seat and this really weird looking needle valve. I've never seen anything like that. It doesn't attach to the float like the old one with the wire. Let's see if I can find that. <clears throat> so, yeah. The old seat here, needle valve, I should say. Come out of there, yeah. The rubber tip has just disintegrated under the uh, acetone, but whatever. So this guy is bigger and fatter. That's wild. But whatever so we're gonna assemble it that way so we got a gasket that goes on this guy and we will probably have a gasket that goes under this guy yep and they go through together so fitting gasket bracket gasket and there's a little tongue back here that locks into this hole we're gonna make sure it does <clears throat> and then find our wrench Don't over tighten because they are brass. And if nothing else, you can split those gaskets and then they won't gasket. All right, we'll put that in. We'll put our float back up here. I think we need to put the gasket on first. Yep. Uh-oh. Might have needed to put it on before the bracket. Damn it. Whatever. Don't tear up your gasket, obviously. As I tear it up. Just kidding. <clears throat> Don't you dare. All right. Now we're gonna put that back. 
back. Drift back. A pin. That I want to say goes in this way. Oh, I bend it. Fire action. This guy through here. Oh, that's right. A little bit of Earl. Basket. Line up. tag same with the top you don't want to over tighten any of these you just want to get them all lined up and run home and then you can go around and zigzag and tighten them all appropriately
Don't do that. That's that guy. And this guy. Remember, this guy is a lefty Lucy. Uh oh. Hope I'm doing that right. Yeah, pointing up would cause it to bind, probably. So that makes sense. I'm gonna use a new cotter pin on this guy. Usually, where there's a spring, there'll be some identifying rub marks. So, let me see if I can oh, I see it in the diagram as well. Of course not. I didn't take a picture. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Idiot. So, I got a rub mark over here. That's clearly for that guy. And then this guy probably comes around more like so. If I remember correctly, the spring was on here. This making no sense. I'm gonna Google it. All right, this guy goes on here like this, angled down to the ball, and then the spring goes on like so. So the round part goes down through this screw. So I gotta take that screw back out. So then we got the spring with the U-shaped hook is going to go at the three o'clock position and the round hook goes at the bottom and that goes on first, All right? Screw can go in just to hold it in place Then this guy goes over it. We also got to hook it on this plunger. go and then our 
bolt with a shoulder and a washer that is lefty tidy. Alright. I'm going to put a drop of oil on there. and tight all right now we take our spring loaded rod put it over the end of it by pulling out and dropping it right on same thing with this though i want to put a tad drop of oil in there just because it's moving and then we bring this down here and attach it where we can see the old wear on the plate from clearly being used, which is a pain in the butt to get in with this already on. So we'll pull this, we'll put this in, we'll put a new cotter pin in it. accelerator pump All right. go ahead and tighten the screw down the rest of the way okay now we got to put the choke back together doesn't want to stand up but whatever and we got the mark on there so we'll mark that Markety mark to the mark. Right. There we go. And then I'm going to take my retaining plates. Maybe. Okay, let's say and another one right here on the bottom and finally then we just put the starter circuit back together a little bit of sealant on this lower manifold gas to seal the bottom off. I'm going to check the, I think there's a spacer on there as well. So I may have to pull that, clean it up and uh, put it back on our fuel inlet. Oh, we got the bowl drain. Almost forgot. side of the bowl over here. And that's more so to check that you have fluid, not a drain. I think the drain's on the bottom. No, no drain on these guys. So that's just a fluid check. <clears throat> and then this guy, we don't have freaking gaskets for the inside of it because 
Uh, they do not come with it because why would they? And then that guy. I'm gonna use because it's really close. And if it works, it works. Okay, so I don't know what those came off of, but they fit perfectly in there. So that goes gasket, spring, this little detent side closest to the indention. This round outside goes up, so detent to the spring. I'm also going to put a little bit of oil on there just because, again, it's got to move. Just put that wherever. All right, so it's a little oily. And then the instructions say another washer that goes inside the bore which that one doesn't. So we're gonna reuse this guy again. Perfect. And then it says washer screen retaining ring, but I don't, I don't like that. I like to have a washer over the screen. And then I'm gonna put this retaining ring in. go so now that can breathe and it can move back and forth because let me get this assembled that's a switch oh I gotta put that guy in dumbass you stupid bitch and I gotta put a cotter pin on this guy pump and do what it needs to do. Alright. What the fuck that goes to. Okay. So this guy One more time, time, time. All right. So, I'm gonna take the spring out, put this guy in, there we go. So that guy goes in like that. Spring in the middle, this guy, another washer gasket. Green. Metal washer. No! And the retainer.
Okay, retainer's in, slide is in. So now the slide can activate the top part. So now that only works if there's vacuum, which would be at wide open throttle when you're trying to start new gasket. All right, and then over here on this side, and then Lots of parts left over. That's always a little concerning, but whatever. I think it'll work. And let me set these all the way in and then back them out. I'm gonna say probably a turn and a half is what stock recommends. I'm gonna get it on the car and then we'll have video of it starting. There we go. That's what was wrong with it. Can't, Can't have no, no gas, gas in it. Exit. She still ain't got no gas in it. I don't know, maybe it ain't sucking through the pump yet. Yeah. Mmm. Maybe. It's hard line going over to there, down to the fuel pump on the side of the block below the oil filter. Mm. It may not be priming. Take 4,337. Every time. Ooh, you got some smoke coming out of that. 